And joining us now on Amarillo's Town Square, always great to have her in studio with us, Penny Bentley with the Amarillo Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Well, Penny, uh, there's only one reason you would be here today, and that would, of course, be the big event the coming big up event. on Thursday. I, I always come in a few days before this big event. We we see if we can't uh, give a final plug for people that haven't been paying attention and don't know what we're talking about. It's, of course, the Chamber Good Time Celebration Barbecue Cook-Off, and this year is our 20th anniversary for this event. And if you haven't been, where have you been in 20 years? Exactly. I, I don't know, but... It is it is such a great event. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of food. It's it's barbecue from a hundred cooking teams. It's um, you know, ice cold beverages from Coors and Bud and Miller and Glazer and Coke and and uh you know, networking and live music with Global Nomads. So wow. it's just a fun, great event that one ticket gets you everything you need. Absolutely. And it, of course, it all kicks off at, uh, what is it, 5 o'clock on Thursday? 5 o'clock, 5 to 8 p.m. Thursday, September 10th on the Chamber Grounds. Uh, it's at 10th and Polk downtown, so we do have entrances at 10th and Polk, 10th and Tyler, and 11th and Tyler. Um, so you can park wherever is most convenient to an entrance for you. And um, yeah, $30 in advance gets you all you can eat, all you can drink, networking and live music for three hours, it's a great time. You know, you save a little bit of money that way too. Mm-hmm. If you wait until you get do it the day of, they are forty dollars. If you wait and get them at the gate, so, so save ten bucks, get them in advance, and heck yeah. you can go to any United supermarket. You're out buying groceries, go pick them up while you're there at the customer service desk, um, or at the box office, or you can go to PanhandleTickets.com, or you can call them at 378-3096 and pick up those tickets. Awesome. So 20 years. Let's talk about the very first barbecue. Oh, gosh. (laughs) The very first barbecue. Actually, the barbecue started as a contest between about eight, eh, six or eight barbecue restaurants here Mm -hmm. in town to see who could cook the best barbecue. And the winner, after the judges decided, was allowed to go to Panhandle Days down in Austin, where we kind of... Uh, talk up the legislators Mm -hmm. about issues that are important to the Texas panhandle. And they got to be the one that showcased what authentic Amarillo barbecue was. And, you know, Richard Dyer won that uh, won that got to go down and do that, which is why he's kind of been our head barbecue chairman for 20 years. (laughs) (laughs) He got roped into that, had no idea what he was volunteering for way back when, I think. But he's kind of our go to for uh, good questions of of. how to do things and and advice and stuff. So we of course love Richard for that. But um, and then you know the next year it was kind of like we other people cook barbecue. Yeah. Other people would like to show off their ability, whether they're a restaurant or not. And we kind of opened it up and just had a handful of teams in the in the parking lot. And it's grown over probably the last eight to ten years has been maxed out at about right at a hundred hundred and two cooking teams. And so you know we're kind of landlocked as far as where right. where else we can go to. But but you know, seeing a hundred barbecue teams in a three hour period, it, it, it's tough to get by them all. And you can't possibly, if you leave hungry, you, you were doing something wrong. Oh, you were networking too much instead of eating. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think the best thing that I absolutely love uh, about the chamber barbecue is number one, finding the best brisket. Yes. That, that fall apart. Just, just yeah, yes. melts in your mouth. Yeah. Same thing with the ribs, mm-hmm. but I love the brisket more. And of course, the corn on the cob. Yeah. You can look like a lady and still eat your brisket with a fork. Now, ribs and corn, that's when you're just like, I don't care. I don't care what I look like. I'm going to get messy. And that's what the barbecue is all about. Um, you're you're going to have sauce on your face and stuff in your teeth. And, and it's all good because it's it's a lot of fun. And and seriously, not not the restaurants. There's just random teams out there yeah. that you're like, how on earth do you know how to cook this good? It's just amazing the stuff that that they create and there's so much more than just you know there's ribs and there's brisket but yeah. they'll do other other meat creations and you know there's a couple of um that'll serve dessert out there because mm-hmm. you know you got to have a little balance of everything so one of the credit unions i think serves up cobbler every year so you'll you'll find a little bit of everything out there at the barbecue and the jalapeno poppers yes yes there will definitely be oh, yeah. the jalapeno <laughs> poppers somebody always <laughs> tackles that labor intensive task i'm amazed oh, at yes, the ones that are dedicated enough to go yeah we made you know a thousand jalapeno poppers i'm like wow you're insane but we love them and they're the first to go exactly (laughs) you have the jalapenos and we're out yeah when you walk along and you're staring at other people's food and you're like where did you get that and and they're trying to remember what booth they picked that up at yeah it's it's great it's a lot of fun for this event and it's great to get there early yes um you know because then you get to 
definitely get your money's worth and cram more food into your face in that three hour period if you get there, you know, right as we open at five o'clock. So, and of course, you know, you can go over and and, uh, enjoy some live music from the Global Nomads and, you know, let stuff settle or dance off, make some room for some more food and uh, and go back for round two. And then, of course, you know, we do give awards at this thing. Everybody wonders why we do this. Um, And the cooking teams, you know, you'd think they were competing for some great prize money, but they're not. They're competing for bragging rights and a cool plaque that says, you know, they had the best ribs or brisket or other meat in either a professional corporate or amateur division. And so we'll give out about 30 awards between those and the showmanship for who decorates and and gets all jazzed up in, in fun attire um, the best. So it's it's a lot of fun. We'll give out some awards. We'll draw for some uh prizes that were given away mm-hmm. we do have if you haven't been by united on georgia to see that big giant cooker that's parked out front um that's one of our prizes Whoa. that we're giving away for opportunity to win tickets then we've also got two other smaller grills infrared pellet grill a traeger a saber and two airline tickets um so boyd's equipment and southwest have have also donated to that so you can get those tickets for five dollars each or five for 20 and you can pick those up at united or you can pick them up at the chamber too but so, yeah, we, we, we have a lot of fun. We do a lot of stuff in that three hours. So, you know, when we talk about networking, uh, it's really a great place to network because mm-hmm. it's, I wouldn't call it a family-friendly event. No, not, not necessarily. <laughs> no. Just because, I mean, we do market this. It is a business networking yes. event. These are our business members. You know, the chamber is made up of about 1,700 members. And there's, you know, 100 or so of them, both nonprofit organizations and for-profit companies that are out there. And they're showcasing themselves yes. and getting to meet their customers and clients in a kind of fun, relaxed atmosphere. But, you know, they're wearing their logo shirt promoting their business. And we always encourage people to come out to the to the event to wear your logo shirt, you know, show off who you're part of, carry some business cards in your pocket. They'll get a little sticky with barbecue sauce, but that's okay. Yeah. But you're going to run into some people that you haven't probably seen since last year's barbecue. So um, it's great for networking. It is a large crowd. Mm-hmm. There is alcohol. There are hot cookers. Therefore, it's not necessarily what we would, you know, say, hey, bring the toddlers out for this just because i mean it's a business networking event and and um you know we like to we like to see those businesses and companies getting to make connections and and connect with their employees or their or their customers and you know we always tell people it's a great way to reward your employees too so buy tickets to the barbecue give them a give them the evening to to go enjoy some fun on you for a job that they do to to work for your business absolutely and and again if you have never been you have to go you have to go at You're, least it's, once it's like a rite of passage to be an amarillo one to just is that what we are amarillo amarillo <laughs> yeah <laughs> to to take part in the chamber barbecue and if you're anywhere downtown in the vicinity of wednesday and th- you know these teams start moving in on wednesday mm-hmm. Um, so the smell of barbecue will just permeate downtown. And so if you're anywhere in that vicinity, you're going to be like, oh man, I can smell it. I can almost taste it. Makes your mouth water. So that's why you've got, you know, until, until, uh, I think you've got until about three o'clock on Thursday to pick up tickets for the discounted price of $30. Otherwise 40 at the gate. So, okay. Well, uh, Penny, I know this is a huge undertaking and and it's a great thing for our community. Uh, who are some of your sponsors that you'd like to take time to thank? Arctic, Glacier Ice, Coors of Amarillo, and Tyson are our three premier sponsors that have pretty much been with us since early, early on in this event. And then I would be here all day if I rattled off. Oh, if you absolutely. look at the poster, I think I actually counted there's 99 different sponsors listed on this. So, I mean, it really is a community effort and we couldn't do it without all of them. And I'd be remiss to try and, you know, mention some and not mention the right. others. Of course, uh, Arctic Ice Cores and Tyson, you know, they Tyson donates like eight tons of meat wow. for this thing so each one of these cooking teams they have to agree to bring a certain amount of food in order mm-hmm. to participate and serve the public but tyson also donates a huge amount of meat to each one of those cooking teams for them to provide back to the public so it is a great way for tyson who is a huge employer in our area to give back to the community and so that's kind of why Absolutely. they've been involved and and of course uh you know vance and chris Reed with Coors have actually been involved since the very very beginning 20 years ago so you know we just appreciate those people that that step up and and support the chamber and all of these businesses that are participating and sponsoring we couldn't do it without them so what are the odds that uh, a team that won the very first year will win this year 20 years later <laughs> 20 years later actually i don't think i 
Richard, I think, will be there, but he has a you know he has a, a catering gig or yeah. something, so he's actually not going to be cooking this year. So we can't count on the fact that he's going to win it this year, and and he did the first year, but uh, but he will be there some on Thursday for us. But uh, you know, it, it's amazing to see some of those teams. They've got plaques from several years. Oh, yeah. They know what they're doing. They've they've mastered the Beacons art of just barbecue. Pops into my head. Beacons, I know he Graham just always manages to and I did I finally last year went by and sampled his show we get so busy we don't eat a whole lot of it while we're out there working and stuff um but I did actually go by and have and his rib was really really good it was just really good I'm like okay I get it yeah that's why you win the plaque so so I totally understand well uh so uh, coming up on Thursday 5 to 8 p.m chamber grounds 10th and Polk tickets panhandle tickets.com or handle tickets yep and uh, or United Supermarket or the box office 30 in advance 40 at the gate if you have any questions you can always call our office at 373-7800 or look us up on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram look up Amarillo chamber and then of course amarillo-chamber.org is where you can find all the information on our website all right penny we'll see you at the barbecue thanks we'll see you there